Okay. So this piece here sits on the end here. Okay, and that nut goes on. You, I had a lock where you can see with the stator, or whatever you want to call it, that bang that thing, and lock it in place with my screwdriver. Okay? <laughs> Don't get a cheap screwdriver and screw it, because this is a he fairly heavy duty, because it's quite large. And you need that to pull all this off, because you have to pull that all out. to get this off because this won't separate until you pull this off. So that being said, fuck you magnet. <laughs> All right, give her a couple of persuasion taps. So that's coming back a bit. I shouldn't really bash on that because I need that fucking uh, bolt to go back on. <laughs> I'm going to uh, need two hands for that, so I'll show you after I'm done. So this here, that was one of those key shaft things, but that is a tapered shaft. You see it gets smaller. Let's take a look at that. It is tapered. So that just goes on there. It was just a matter of pulling it off. Give it a couple taps. Not too much persuasion, but yeah. If you look at, see the thing is connecting to it. So the magnet is only here. The rest is just cast chunk of steel. Now I just gotta separate that. <laughs> Let's see, a couple persuader hits. Mm. Well, I got that. Oh, okay. The mount for the, that is getting in the way. So, there we go. Maybe I can give her a couple hits down. Well, we're definitely not using the engine now. It's fucking good for nothing like that. Wow, what a pile of Chinese garbage, you know? I'm just gonna set that down there. That's awesome. I'm gonna just work on this thing, get it out. I really don't give a fuck about it. Okay, so I just ripped all this apart. So I'm gonna have to reiterate to myself again what I just did. But, right. okay, so this yellow wire here with the big one went to that red wire. Okay, and that big green one there with that big thing on it went to this black and white one. And that blue went to, oh fuck, where is it? Down there. To that black and the other half of the green. Or it has a little green, but it's that thing there. This was red and red. There's two blue wires that come out of here. Okay, the top is the one without, and the bottom is one with. That is for this module here. Don't know what it is. Okay, so two red. Okay, so the red here. So they're both the same, okay? So you have on the top here was white, a double white, a double red, and then a, a yellow on this side, and a yellow green on this side with a double white and a double red. So that, that's for the plugs and all the other stuff that's over here. Okay. Now I gotta still separate this other shit and that's what I gotta remember. <laughs> okay, so where you, I left off, this was not like this or like that. Because I fucking took my ball peen hammer and I smashed the shit out of it because it did, didn't want to come off. So, I destroyed it. Yeah, there's the cylinder head thing you know I, I don't give a shit I could probably use that little piece of metal thing what I'll do is I'll just make a separate bin for aluminum scrap I'll just melt it all into like a block or something and whatever but I want to see something real funny that's the camshaft for the exhaust and intake uh, valves 
it's plastic. So on these little ones, they're so cheap, they just put a metal shaft in there, which I could use that for something. Melt all the steel together and make a fucking stuff out of it. And it sat right in there. Well, not like that. It sat like that because there's another tooth gear. There you see that helical gear, which this is. And, well, now I got that off. Okay. The idea is to do this. Since, see how it's a key shaft? That sits in there. And I'm just going to... Yeah, I've had to take this thing off and on and off a bunch of times to get it to go on a little easier. And then that's easy. And that's it. This is your generator. Don't need anything else. I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not going to fuck with the shaft inside because that's a nightmare. I can honestly just take... What do I have here? A stupid plug. Put that in there just because it's a hole I don't want. Sorry. Yeah, just put the oil plug back in. Not because it's useful. It's just because I just don't want shit getting in there from this way. Because eventually I'm just going to try to make a plate of steel that goes around the uh, two-part plate. And then just cover it up. Just, just, just to keep this from getting any shit in it. Yeah, because i got to wash it all out. I don't want to move the bearings around too much, because if I do... Yeah, that's the magnet that's holding that in there. It will be a mess. <sighs> so, really, it's not that hard to put on anything like this. Because if you look at that, this gets held in all by that and these two pins here. So... That's what holds that all in. Technically, that's how it holds it all in. So here, I'll undo that bolt nut again, now that it's easy. And this just sits in between here or here. And that sits like that. That just is a cooler for the uh, whatever the hell that is. The electro. Because this here is like literally a fan thing. So all you got to do is just modify technically this piece. Put literally some kind of plate in there. And build you actually you know what you could even go off of this weld in blades just fan blades on an angle you cut out one of these just to get it out of the way leave the rest of them in there just for the sake of it and then you have that as that you could put a cone over there if you really wanted to just so it deflects the air out yeah i'm not a camera person i don't i'm when i look like that it's because i'm here and my my left hand is going crazy just randomly moving wherever it wants but yeah there's all the wiring i still remember from earlier in the video but that's pretty much the only thing that's going to help me put this back together but all i need is that i'm going to make some kind of if i go wind power that way that thing has to run at 36 rp 3600 rpms okay i'm probably gonna have to do a reduction because well, a wind-powered fucking generator like that. Wind power, I don't know how fast they move, but I need the, a reduction in there somehow. So that's really easy to be done. Put that up there, this up here. Since it's tapered only right to here, but right here I have enough to put in because if you look at it, it's only got a key shaft up to here. So, 
that's it right there like that. Yeah, it's the bang that holds it in place. Fuck off. But you see how there's a bearing. Bearing I can't move unless I get rid of that, uh, the little tab that's there. And maybe weld something on the back side of this, like a gear. Because it, if you look at it, it, it should. But even then, I don't need this outside stuff. So I can cut this off here. As you can see, it's not, oh, sorry. As you can see, it's not needed past this piece. Well, let's take a really good look at this. Okay. That sits in like that. Okay. See how there's, oh, there's little tabs on the outside I didn't notice. Uh, you know what? I don't care. I'll just take it back and cut it, or sorry, cut it back. And I'll just uh, put a bolt in that little pl plate over there, and then I'll just get it like that. This is probably going to have to be like a two-part or three-part now, now that's so much. Alright. Till the next day.